that's gross. That's okay. Yeah. That was saying like old old frosties were made out of. Did we already tested this. Shit. Out of tomato. Potato. Did I say tomato? Oh, NATO. <laughs> NATO. Yeah. Uh, potato like dried potatoes like mashed dried mashed potatoes. You know. I heard as a kid. Yeah, like originally, and then they were like they. People found out, and they're like, oh, it's not real milk. And now it's like, what? Frosty's made out of real ice cream. Real cows. Yeah, because that's because <laughs> it, it used to be not that. Really? That's why, like, things like, you know, it says, you know, uh, what does it say? Original Coca-Cola or? Unsweetened tea. On Coca-Cola's now, they say, it says original, Coke, Coke original or Coca-Cola yeah, original. Yeah, because they use real sugar and not No, because they... It used to just be Coca-Cola, and then in the 80s or early 90s or whatever, they made... New Coke. New Coke. Mm. And they changed the fucking recipe. Mm -hmm. So now, this... And then they came back to the new... To the original, whatever Mm. shit, and... That's why it's Coca Cola. That was probably someone's Coca Cola Classic. Someone's stupid son's decision. Coca Cola right. Classic, Coke. not old clip, old Coke. Yeah, classic, mm-hmm. classic. It's just interesting mm-hmm. how things like that, like just like just so you know. When I was a kid, I went good, to good. New Bern, North Carolina, the town where Pepsi was created, and Pepsi. we went to a museum of sorts, but it was really just a gift shop that had <laughs> Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi paraphernalia. Really? Holy shit! But it was like an old uh, soda shop, um, but, you know, it was now just like a clothing store that had Pepsi on everything. That's <laughs> awesome! Oh my god! Growing up, my That's mom... That's considered a Pepsi museum. Yeah. It's my mom still, shop. like, has a case of Pepsi in the house all, all the time. If she's addicted to anything, it's, it's Pepsi. Pepsi. I used to be and, and, and Misty Pepsi. Menthol Lights, but I was <laughs> and, <something addictive. laughs> and also cigarettes. <laughs> no, I, was, I was hooked to Pepsi as a kid, and I think I was like I was hooked on caffeine. Oh, for sure, early on. Fuck yeah! Everyone just thought it was cute that I would always get to someone's house and say, "Can I have a Pepsi?" But it was really like, seriously. I need it. A problem. <laughs> like, I need it. I'm really. I got a bad migraine. Like I if I ever, see <laughs> I need my fix, man. Just, just give it to me, please. I know you got it. Uh, I know. Uh, when I was a kid, we I went on a zoo trip mm-hmm. one day, and we all brought, or someone's mom brought, red Gatorade, oh. and we were all sitting around drinking it like at lunch, and uh, someone was like, "Hey." Did you know that they have crushed beetles to make the juice red? And oh. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. you're you're kidding me. You're just trying to get me to throw. Yeah. And some. And then the mom was like, Oh yeah, I think they do actually do that. And I was like, Oh my god. And then I, I never wanted to drink it again, but I did eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Until one day I did. <laughs> well, I'm saying I'm saying years went by before I touched it again. Like I couldn't, oh, I couldn't trust it. I didn't even, dr- I didn't drink the rest of what I was drinking. I, and since being at a zoo, they took us like, it was a special field trip where the zoo was closed and only our class was there. They took us behind the scenes where all like the bugs and stuff. Where they kill were. all the old animals. Oh. Yeah, where they kill all the old animals. Yeah, <laughs> they let us, uh, they let us beat them with shovels, but no. <laughs> but cool. we did go into like the feeding area where like they keep bugs to feed like the smaller animals. Uh huh. And we, like, they brought out tubs of maggots and, like, tubs Ooh. of, like, little cockroaches. And I was freaking the fuck out. I <laughs> couldn't, I couldn't be there, but I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to leave the room because it was a field trip. Right. Like, I had to be supervised somewhere. Yeah. So, that was the place. But after seeing all that and hearing that about the Gatorade, I believed it. And then I, was wanted, that your first, I wanted to throw up. Was that your first public panic attack? Uh, Maybe. I was how in old were you? fourth grade. Uh, I don't know how old that is. Nine or something. Yeah. yeah nine or ten. Maybe ten. That's like, yeah, I feel like that's a is good that time ten? to be starting to crack open that. Yeah. That anxiety box. Yeah. 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 But we also spent the night there. It was one of the best oh, uh, the shit. best field trips I've ever went on. Yeah, we, we slept in the we manatee did that uh, aquarium. What? We slept yeah. in with the manatee. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Holy I, shit. I strapped us I picture like now. manatees on their backs with like little kids. <laughs> <inside there. laughs> it's like a Miyazaki. Film. Yeah. <laughs> that is and they Miyazaki. just like go under and then a, a magic air bubble goes. <laughs> and they just, sleep. just like giant pillows. No, the, manatee the manatee is eating like a exhibit. rice cake or something. The manatee exhibit's really sweet. Yeah. yeah. I we, we slept like on the floor right next to like the giant, uh, you know, glass Displays. Oh, is this the Cincinnati Zoo? Yeah, the Cincinnati oh, okay. Zoo. Yeah, never I feel that. like it was. I have best such a like love ever. hate relationship with zoos. Like I love animals. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I have to like. I ha- 
they're like in prison. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Well, the, I mean, they're I in think prison. These they days, prison. these days they're more humane. They're often rescued animals that can't, <laughs> you know, that they can't put back in the wild for whatever reason. I'm not saying they're totally not all humane, of them. Yeah, but a lot of them. A lot of them like are. Sea World is clearly. I mean, well, Sea World's not a zoo. You shouldn't. Well, you should lump that in with. It's an a, a animal display. Yeah. Destination. Yeah. It's it's actually. Uh, Zoo suit, the zoo suit, zoo suit riot. Zoos serve a purpose of uh, an, animal. Um, well, education, yes, obviously, but it's uh, actually breeding. Um, environmental environmental yeah. breeding because a lot of species are actually breeding. environmental breeding. I don't know what the word. <laughs> okay, <is>. it's <laughs> like a lot of. I think it's time to get started. A lot of animals I agree are going you. extinct. I agree with you. Yeah. It's the hair <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 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 It's the Hair Club for Movies. <laughs> and I am your host, Michael. It's your favorite host, Andrew. I'm Drew. Let me steal that one. Yeah. I mean, oh. I listened to the podcast last week. As long as you know That made me laugh. This is <laughs> your favorite <laughs> club for movies. Yeah, every and week. And we do uh, talking. Over each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really what this should be called. Every week we pick a movie. One of us does. And then we go our separate ways. We watch it. Uh-huh. And then we return to talk uh-huh. about it. Last week I picked Little Big Man. Little Big Man. Something mm-hmm. I confessed was one of my favorite movies. So mm-hmm. let's, let's see what these guys have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I liked it, but I didn't like it at first. Like, the first 20 minutes of the movie uh, had me sort of I actually, trying. I've al- always had an issue with that part. Yeah. We can go into what that ex- later. Well, yeah, yeah, let's, can we, uh, you can't really summarize it. I mean, it's, you can. It's, it's just, a lot it's just of the stuff. story. It's, it's, sort of, it's, like, it's kind of like Forrest Gump in The mm-hmm. Frontier. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. It actually That's what I think I wrote is. that down, yeah. Oh, uh, The Jerk. Oh yeah, it's the, the jerk. jerk. Yeah. yeah, it's the jerk right. in the frontier. Yeah, yeah right. The jerk. <laughs> so <laughs> that would have been a better movie. Uh, frontier jerk. I mean, yeah. it's the no, same movie. <laughs> what What did you think of it, real quick? I I like when it first came on, and I was like, "What the fuck am I watching here?" Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I, that's, I had the same. This, I was like, "Is this supposed to be serious, or is this yeah, supposed to like be a mocking?" Yeah, like it sets it up. In such a serious way, yeah. well, bits of it are serious. Well, but yeah. mm-hmm. what's true with that makeup? It's like, and I, I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And <laughs> it, it just looked, didn't look authentic at all. It looks ways. crazy, and then, yeah. yeah, and then it starts, and it's like, "What's going on?" For for more, and then <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, I'm just like, "Oh, is that Dustin Hoffman, or is that not Dustin Hoffman?" It did actually. That it did, looked exactly it like did I was like conf- mostly. Just focus Did they on dub over the voice too to make it sound like Dustin Hoffman? I don't no, know. Actually, interesting enough, when he is in the 121 year old makeup, yeah, for Dustin Hoffman, he would go into his dressing room and scream at the top of his lungs oh, until his Jesus. voice was totally wrecked. Nice. And That's that so way, cool. But I wish he didn't do that because the <laughs> voice of the narrator, God, it was so yeah. fucking annoying. Cool. So uh, annoying. But yeah, I mean, then I got really invested in it, and I think it was really. Yeah. Fucking I, yeah. unique it, it, movie. It got, it got uh, um, good after like the first half all right. hour. Well, let's get into the summary here, I guess. we. Yeah. I mentioned last week this, mo- this movie holds a record for the longest or the greatest character. I think, yeah, I think you said 17 on the podcast. It's actually, he's actually 10. Well, yeah, 10, yeah. The younger, so my issue with the beginning of this film, it starts with uh, a boy playing the main character, Jack Crabb. Then it moves to an adolescent actor, but they dub over Dustin Hoffman's voice. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, and it's awkward. It like doesn't yeah. look right. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then Dustin Hoffman takes over when he gets to be about 16, 17. Yeah, I, yeah, I wrote, yeah. that was my first note. You said I said um, you don't see actual Dustin Hoffman for for twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a problem. Except I guess. for the the face. Well, but yeah. still, like yeah. that's not you don't get to see him. You should get yeah. through the childhood in like five minutes. No, I think it's. It was. I like that. 
the, well, like, it definitely built. It definitely it was actually right. Never mind. It was necessary for the whole film because it was this yeah. father son like coming back story. Like, but three also, I times. feel like each little part is its own story too. So his that's one story. Like that's true. And you know, it's all kind of. I think like not to jump ahead, but I feel mm-hmm. like some of it is just his interpretation of what happened. Absolutely, yeah. a lot. You actually Most mentioned of it probably how you, is. Andrew, you mentioned that you didn't think anything was authentic. Yeah. I think it's an important thing to notice about this movie. Almost none of it's authentic. Yeah. Like, yeah. down to the costumes, I almost feel like this is supposed to be the wild folktale of an old yeah. man who's gone a bit senile. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, maybe. Um, and bits of it are probably rooted in Obviously. reality. But... Down, like, even the blood looks uh, almost it's, too vibrant and red. Yeah. Like, well, it, like, it's stuck out in his mind. This was made in 1970, correct? Yes. That's what it did look like back yeah, then. Yeah, but still, that effects. could be... I mean, I, I... That's... Once I realized that that was the... I, you know... Yeah. That's the this conceit is or whatever. embellishment. Then, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. If I... If I would have tried to take it at face value, I feel like I wouldn't have... Yeah. Enjoyed it as much. Um... Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna know why you did that. No, <laughs> like, shh. This is our also real quick. This is our special uh, 420 episode. It is 420, 420. dog. <laughs> for all of our crazy guys. <laughs> Michael got high heads. last night. Online, um, yeah, on, <laughs> on life, on friendship. He flew a plane into the clouds. <laughs> no, by the time anyone of substance hears this, it'll. Um, um, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. No, you're good. You just sometimes you gotta. I go. I listen. I go down back alleys and corners. You would never know. Where they <laughs> are. <laughs> sometimes you gotta go there to pick up your watch. That's true. Yeah, I don't know where my watch is. Find right your now. marbles. It'd be ticking. Um, yeah, that's true. Isn't a Hook an awful movie? You guys like Hook? I love Hook. I yeah, it's awful. Rufio, bro. Fuck you. How can you think that movie's awful? <laughs> I liked it when I was a kid. I tried to watch it. It's a it kid's again. movie, obviously. I haven't seen it in a long time, so mm-hmm. critic, I mean, maybe I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I'm allowed to judge kids. kids. I like kids' movies. A mm-hmm. lot of them, but. Well, a lot of the time, I think more often than not, the older I get, when I go back and revisit movies I liked when I was younger, mm-hmm. I don't like them as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Movies that I loved. And I'm like, I love this movie. Uh-huh. I just watched Best in Show again for the first time in a while, and yeah. it's not as funny as I love that movie. But I love that movie. But like, I yeah, like I used to funny. laugh out loud yeah. at a couple parts, and it's like, mm-hmm. I don't laugh the whole time now. <laughs> maybe it's because I've seen it, but also it's well, just maybe like, you're just a bad person now. Have you ever? No, I've always that? been a bad person. I'm no, just I kidding. think a lot of enjoying a movie is a situational thing. Like yeah. where you're at mentally, who you're with. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there have yeah. been times where I'm. I was looking forward to like a big comedy, and I watch it with a group of people who just don't laugh, and it, it really fucking it, fucking killed it. It makes for me. me that kind of shit makes me feel physically like makes me feel sad, yeah. and like yeah. and I have like a physical yeah. reaction to it. If mm-hmm. everyone when I'm so excited about something, and somebody the people who aren't excited about yeah. it, yeah. it's like you got to get away I'm, from them. I can't have fun because yeah. this is shitty for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, sometimes when that happens to me, I'm just. Obviously, my laugh is really loud and obnoxious, <laughs> but if no. I'm watching a movie where no one's laughing, I'm, I don't care. I'm still going to laugh my ass off. Oh, yeah. And everyone's going to, like, if be I'm like, in a theater, why are you laughing? I'll if I'm like, in a theater... Because there's a funny movie on. Yeah. Like, get over it. You're supposed to laugh at this, you fucking soul-sucking... I feel like person. I laugh a lot more in, when I go to theaters. Obviously, I've talked about this before, but yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I laugh yeah. more than the people around me, it yeah. seems like. Too. I like think I, it's because you crave attention. <laughs> no. That's all, oh, yeah. Don't. <laughs> don't. Well, subconsciously. No, no, I think you... It's most okay. people want to sure. emote. Yeah. Most but people I, want to express themselves. I don't know. Especially it, when they're happy. But it doesn't... It hits me indifferently. Like, jokes would, would be funnier to me. It's that group... I, I don't know. It's that, like... Well... Being around other people, too. Yeah, but. it's, uh... Most of the, it's not like a room full of people not laughing. There's other people but laughing. But it's dark, and you can't, I don't acknowledge those people. I was you know about to I mean? say, that's, just, the, that's the main reason. I get completely immersed in it, and I like, you're with a group of people, but no one, you're not, when you laugh, like really loud, no one knows who you are still. Well, it's not that it's I'm not like, like everyone looks trying to be loud, like look yeah. at me. Yeah. It's just like, it hits it me comes harder, out, yeah. and I laugh harder, not yeah. like louder necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, I feel like I get Yeah, but I mean, also, I'm, 
I'm very self-involved too, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. <laughs> I love laughing. I don't <laughs> no, know what I, I like. I like to laugh. I like to laugh. <laughs> no, I just can't imagine anyone. Just a couple of jokers who like to thinking something's make funny laughs. and consciously being like, I'm not gonna laugh at this because people are gonna look at me. Oh no, that's fucking stupid. I yeah. mean, that's even that's the same. That's, yeah, that's the same thing. That's you also guys, if you're alone in your house watching a comedy. Yes, I do mm, laugh out loud. Yeah, okay. Yes. It <laughs> depends. Like not if I, not, if, not all the if time. If I find myself laughing out loud by myself, I'm like, well, this is actually funny. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because it'll like a podcast a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah. When I'm walking to work and I'll like be laughing and I have to like not. Because mm-hmm. you're just walking because I don't down want the street with your looking, headphones on. <laughs> looking at, looking at, like laughing like yeah. and I don't want people to see me like 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 a yeah. fucking maniac. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, I uh, we got very sidetracked very quickly. If I'm okay, <laughs> let me let me segue back into the normalcy. When okay okay did you see this first, Michael? Since um, you said it's your favorite school. movie, high school. It was definitely like something I saw early, um, but it was around the time I started to get into classics, like classic mm-hmm. film. It yeah. was more not, I mean, not like film criticism. I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I'm not like going to start. Uh, cut like taking apart every film I watch. I don't yeah. want to. I want to continue to enjoy. Movies. You do yes, take exactly. you do take notes on all the movies you watch now. That's true. But you don't want to be. Well, he takes notes about noteworthy things. He's not like I'm not like doing an academic yeah. right, no, breakdown of I don't. movies. I just know think I mean? it's yeah. funny. Yeah. So I I think this was one. I I saw something in it. I loved the story. I think. It made me laugh, definitely. Uh-huh. Like, mm-hmm. and it's a coming of age movie. There were movie definitely yet. parts. So that I think the laugh. fact that I saw it when I was literally I coming of age yeah. probably had a more yeah. of an impact. I on feel me. like that's mm-hmm. the the most vulnerable time, like yeah. emotionally, oh God, yeah. obviously, right? Like for things to affect you, that's why, like, you that's know, why you can like some really dumb shit. Well, but that's why, like, you know, you get people get obsessed with music and and stuff. Yeah, then is yeah. because yeah. you're open. You're so yeah. fucking. Just open. Yeah. The, you're right, actually. I don't know anyone who went through their, like, teenage years and didn't have at least... Actually, I knew a couple. Like, I didn't, the, I didn't the like... guys that just did school and that was it. Oh. Maybe they were different at home because I didn't, obviously... Yeah, I had home. one I friend that literally didn't listen to music. Like, yeah. we would go over to his there house. There was always I one I remember one time like that. thinking, like... That's weird. I can't think of a single band you like. Do you... What, what do you like? And he was like... Shit, well, I can't even remember the name of this band. It was this one, like, real cheesy, like, pop rock band. Uh, wow. And he was like, I kind of like them, but that's it. Oh, God. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. <sighs> that is I crazy. feel like music was, like, something that everybody was, like... Yeah, I would definitely, you know, I had that, I had that, my CD player. Yeah, I listened your to, Walkman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know, yeah. it, like, my first year of school, in high school... I'm not, not my first year of school. I feel like I listened to that Gorillaz album, the first one, oh, yeah. like almost every single day mm-hmm. of my life. I have yeah. a very embarrassing story to tell. Speaking of Walkman. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Walkman? Nah, that's fucking stupid. I'm sure it's... <laughs> break, break it down. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying about uh, the Walkman? I might not be the only person that did this, but I'm sure I'm in a low minority. Um, when I was like 13... I uh, be so hard on my I noise. fucked my Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> I was no. no, I was drunk. <laughs> I, I, I used to listen to Enya every night. Oh, <laughs> oh pure moods, bitch. Yeah. No, and not pure moods. Do you remember those? Yes. Yeah, the Enya like she that had those infomercials. <laughs> no, pure yeah. moods. Yeah. That's what I'm Wait, she did. About. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't just that Enya. Bad. It was Enya and all that fucking yeah. <laughs> Wiccan music. What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like people like casting spells. I was really into uh, with, their, with they have their like they're like forest nymphs. Yeah, and they're like, like Sigur Rós. Yes, Sigur Rós. I love Sigur Rós. Yeah, it's like crazy like, shit. I mean, I, I have a poster in my living room yeah. to this day, but I still yeah, yeah. I feel like that's like a progression, like Bjork, Shira Ross. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you're right. Of Enya, of yeah. Enya, huh? I'm she kinda, was listen later Radiohead shit. Yeah, if I'm in the right I like mood, Radiohead I can still I can still listen to Enya. I, I love I love Kid A. It's one yeah. of my favorite albums. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw yeah, Radiohead. Kid A is actually great. Motion picture soundtracks. I have, yeah, I have. I can't I even know. remember what album of theirs them. really turned me off. I think In Bloom, maybe. After In Bloom With came Radiohead? out. Yeah, I went and saw them in, in like, live, mm-hmm. and they only played their new stuff. Mm-hmm. And not, like, it's a off. single thing <clears throat> off 
Kid A or OK yeah. Computer and because that would suck. They do that though, radio, right? Like they like yeah, deconstruct. Like anything. I saw the Pixies two years ago, and that was depressing. <laughs> Real depressing. I didn't know they were still together. They they've released new music, and it's uh, what's, her, what's as big a disappointment as you can imagine. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah, Damn. he does like solo stuff too. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I the music I like, I almost don't know any band names like or the band members names yeah no mm. i know none of them i, like, just, I just care about the music i don't care right. about really where they came from see i like yeah. i get obsessed with like about a, that here if you're I an know. artist hearing that i know oh, I, God. I, well as a musician it kind of doesn't it, i guess as an artist of any kind like i it would rather it people matter, if people right. don't know my name but they know your my shit like yeah. fucking yeah. mission accomplished yeah you know? i agree but there is like in the Ego somewhere when sure, you hear absolutely. someone doesn't care about like a one hit wonder that like you don't yeah. even know their band's name but yeah. you know that one song but you know like, that song uh, yeah. yeah yeah but whatever you're still getting them checks mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what, you know what my my favorite part in Little Big Man was what was his uh, uh, gunfighter stage oh his, yeah uh, oh and it was period. good she like threw out I am she threw out his gunfighter outfit and that just makes it nulls it okay <laughs> that's something I do love that okay the, uh, uh, I, I wrote serious abandonment issues this guy just keeps leaving people he yeah. like just picks up and just goes well and, like, I don't think well, if duck, he, it's not duck. his it's normally not his choice though to leave the first two times it happened so I get we never really did a summary but yeah I, we don't <laughs> this have is time. hard this is hard to do a summary we don't really have it's time it's a guy but it's way too much way too many events yeah a Pawnee Indian a white guy whose family's killed no, he come, he on the frontier Indian, Indian. That's, I mean, uh, actually, that the, that's interesting. All, almost all the Native American dialects, uh-huh. if you translate how they refer to themselves, uh-huh. it translates more closely to a human being. What? And, yeah. Uh, <gasps> I don't that's know. So cool. when he says he's a human oh, being. That is cool. Oh, yeah. my God. And here's okay. another level of oh. trivia. Uh, I've been yeah. a, a, a obsessed with community. <laughs> Yeah, and the, have you seen Community? Yes, yes. Okay, so the Glen, uh, the Greendale mascot is the human being. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wonder <laughs> if that's supposed to be a joke of like about little their, big man or or just about like our mascot is actually a, an Indian. No, it's like that's like a or, thing that people or, are trying. Uh, our and mascot that's why is they the like only make it this faceless, unobtrusive, but also creepy looking. <laughs> but at the yeah. same time, a human being <laughs> yeah. is. What, uh, and that's how like every sports team thinks of themselves as like you know the only uh, righteous ones I guess I don't know I don't I'm not thinking that far into it just on the joke that like the jo- like how offensive oh, it is to oh, name, I get it, have yeah. your mascot yeah. be something that and then <laughs> they try to go out of their way to name themselves the human beings and yeah. yet it's they, still, it still ca- can be construed as offensive to as, somebody yeah, and to Indians. Which is funny, and I wonder if that's on purpose. I just made the connection because I've been like, <laughs> yeah, watching yeah. all the community. Yeah. So it's in your, I in your front front but still, it's I mean, in your front I feel like Dan Herman is like, he's like, like on that down. level of yeah. like meta writing. That oh yeah, obviously that's what the whole show is well, about. So Jack Crab, yeah, he becomes a was he a Pawnee? No, brave? Pawn, the Pawnee are the, were the ones, the ones, ones that with. so it's Cheyenne. Yeah. I he think so. A, I think he's so adopted into the Cheyenne culture. At one point, when he's in battle against white, uh, white soldiers, yeah, he has to profess his like white heritage in order to save his own skin. <laughs> yeah, God bless George so he's a, bit, he's a coward. At yeah, that oh moment. yeah, but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he is adopted into a he's pragmatic, pastor's. I think. Yeah, yeah. He, he saved his. I don't think it's that bad. You know, I would rather someone survive no matter what. That was actually a like, very hard part to watch because it went from like a light movie. From one part to uh, when they're on um, the Indian reservation with all the snow and everyone just starts getting oh. killed and all of his wives get killed and he's just watching and like just being That's torn the, apart. The massacre of Washita River is a real thing that happened. Okay. Washita. Washita? Wa- yeah. Washita is a normal way to say it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, but that was a fucking hard scene to watch. Yeah. That's when like the movie sort of ter- completely turned for me. I'm mm-hmm. just like, okay. This is something different. This isn't just like a, a one kind of movie. Yeah. Like there's a lot of different things happening. Well, the opening scene, the like title card. Yeah. Is they're panning across, um, the the plains and they show a dead body draped over like a fainting couch. Yeah. And little big man pops up. Yeah. So it's definitely I think. They're trying to set a tone that like mm-hmm. death is. Well, that's what imminent. that's what I think. Maybe that's why I didn't like the beginning too because they set that tone. 
and then they don't revisit it for so long. It's kind of goofy, like yeah. his sister, that like f- thing where his sister is yeah. mistaken for a man. And, that was funny. Yeah. But it was well, also a little that's, weird. That's her the stuff was that, weird. like... His sister was weird. That's because he, he starts telling this story, and then it gets fucking weird, because you're seeing it from his perspective of him yeah. telling it. Yeah. So, it's... it's that's true. It's him telling the story, so it's like, if it goes, it takes these weird turns, it's yeah. because that's just how he's remembering it, and it doesn't have to be... He doesn't. He's not thinking about the tone, mm-hmm. you know, of his story. He's just saying shit. I didn't want to kill him. Yeah. I just wanted to distract him. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I if I ha- I don't have my notes because I forgot them. But that was one of the things I wrote down. Is what the fuck is this movie? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to distract him. Yeah. He shot him twice with he probably fucking meant to, bow and arrow. He probably wasn't that good of a shot. But I guess he was. Found out that he was. How could you distract shot. someone by shooting a bow and arrow? Well, he was trying to you know make sure his friend didn't. He had die. to do something. Yeah. I know, but like the wording was just so weird. Actually, um, so uh, wait, we never did a so. Oh right, yeah. He goes back and forth between white culture and the Cheyenne culture. Mm-hmm. Um, is it of course, Cheyenne or is it Pawnee? Cheyenne is okay. the people, the tribe that he and like he's got a grandfather and the Cheyenne tribe, old lodge skins. Yes, that actor was born before nineteen hundred. Was actually nominated for an Academy Academy Award. Oh, that was the guy. In the yeah, um, his name is. Chief Dan George. Chief Dan George. Yeah, that's Dan George. That's um so uh <laughs> that's a little weird. That's well that's like a he t- took took like an Americanized name. Yeah, probably. yeah. but still kept so it. Which is, and it's he funny goes, it's fucking Dan George. Dan and George. He serves the white with names. uh the military for a while and then meets General Custer. And after seeing the cruelty of General Custer, he's determined to bring him down. And he is in the end, he causes the Battle of Little Bighorn, where mm-hmm. General Custer and his troops are famously all slaughtered in mm-hmm. a like in a valley by Indians waiting in ambush. Yeah. So, Little Big Man, Little Bighorn. Actually, coincidence. <laughs> the thing about uh, that scene yeah. that I loved in the movie, but made me kind of feel weird about like if it was true. Mm-hmm. If, like, General Custer was that kind of person where he was just, just like... Just a pompous... Yeah, super pompous. Smarmy asshole. Yeah. I used to think, at least when I was growing up, that General Custer was pompous, but also, like, smart and, mm-hmm. like, pretty fucking But in this movie, they paint, like, a different picture. Yeah, they paint him like a Monty Python character. Well, it's yeah. all the... It's, again, it's also, you know... Yeah, yeah, the, the ridiculousness of the memory of the scene. Caricatures. Person. But, I don't know, maybe it... I always thought Little Big Horn was cool because it was the Indians just completely destroying an American army with with no like questions asked. They won. It's not like, oh, they killed a lot of them. It's like, no, they surrounded them and destroyed them. Like For me, it was like, uh, it was cool seeing the Indians or having a story about the Indians being like in- incredible. I always warriors. thought Little Big Horn was. But the movie like made a it look like it was an accident. Battle anyway. between a, some Rams. Like a, yeah, I was thinking the, uh, like, like elephants, young rams. Yeah, little bighorn, mm-hmm. young rams and big rams. Uh huh. I imagine there being a horn. <laughs> I, imagine know, like, I imagine there. So this movie has a lot of uh, pretty uncomfortable sexual scenes. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. 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 Well, that yeah. I think when Miss Pendrake is giving him a bath, like toward oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I wasn't supposed Pendrake. to be a teenager. That was yeah, so weird, true. and she's like fully like. Yep. You're a bigger scrub man than... Giving him yeah. a scrub down. Giving him a scrub down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why scrub if you're 16 you need a scrub down. down. That's this old fashioned... Because fashion. she was just... She needed like, to Like, do it yourself. Self. Yeah. I don't know. I think <laughs> do it took yourself. Baths, people took no. baths so rarely maybe it was like a... I think it was the Christian thing full, to do is yeah. what she said actually. You know, like Jesus. And they, you know, they thought he was a he savage. Was the two. Well, that's true. They thought he was like a moron. But also, Too stupid to hold a sponge. Yeah. She yeah. wanted to... Oh, yeah. Scrub him down. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird. So, uh, also, my, Sex, man. we talked about the uh, the gunfighter scene. You guys know anything about Wild Bill Hickok? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, he nope. was a gunfighter. Uh, oh, remember that movie, Tall Tale? I never saw that one. Remember was that movie? Yes, I do remember that movie, and I love that movie. That's what I remember about him. Yeah. So, Wild Bill Hickok <laughs> was a gunfighter that was famously gunned down while playing poker. Yeah. Um, in his hand were, he had a full house, aces over eights, which is now known as the dead man's hand. That's and cool. he was shot by a kid who they recreate in this film. Yeah. Um, have you guys ever seen The Wire? 
No. No. Is Can it, I spoil something? No, don't. Uh, is it Omar? About Omar? Mm-hmm. Shit, I don't want to hear it. I want to watch it. No, I want to watch it. Shut up. I want to watch it eventually. <laughs> I know that he dies, but I don't know how. I don't know how. Can I, can I, I? No, tell shut up. It? Can no. you just leave? Just hum. Plug your ears and hum. I'll leave. I want to know because I don't care. It's yeah. I mean, it's like in the end. So at the end of the wire, there's this character called Omar Little. I mean, he even sounds sort of like a gunfighter, and he's a stick-up man. Uh huh. He's like untouchable the entire series. In the end, someone's put a hit out on him, uh, a criminal hit, and he is shot in a convenience store. By a little kid. Uh, yeah. I think it's definitely a reference to... Uh, what what's is his name? Yeah. Wild, Wild Bill. Bill. Okay, Andrew. Return. Uh, sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this also means when I listen to this, I'm going to have to she skip that She closed the door, part. dude. You, you're going to have to skip uh, it. Freaking opened it. Yeah, you, you got to freaking close it. Dang on. Three, two, one. Bang! Every coffee sip? Uh, is it time for a break, probably? Is this a good place to just sort of yeah. cut? Yeah. I've it's been shitting a in a bucket weird. over here. I thought we were... We're just going straight going on out. through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in, you know, respect to the movie and the time period, we'll be course. back, we'll be back momentarily. Yeah. Momentarily. Wait. All right. It's key. Consistency. <laughs> Back with the hair club. Um, talking about that wasn't it still talking like, about little big man nineteen seventy. <laughs> Don't talk to me about what it is, or what <laughs> it is Andrew. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you get really jivey sometimes. <laughs> jivey? Yeah, you're like um, jive like a jive turkey. Don't tell me what it is, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn into like a <laughs> like, like a, a saxophone player, yeah, exactly, in like yeah. a jazz club. And in he's the 70s. been through some what stuff. Did, what did you guys think of it? <laughs> he's end? been through some shit. <laughs> what did you guys think of the end of this movie? Uh, it was uh, strange. Oh shit! The oh. fucking funniest line of the whole goddamn movie is right at the goddamn fucking end of this. I think movie. I hope that Holy it's the same shit. one I have typed up here. Uh, I even I didn't have my notebook <laughs> on me, no, but I I'm it's uh, they're at the. They're, he the grandfather goes up to die. Yeah, he doesn't die because the magic doesn't work sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. whatever. Fuck it. That dude. What he's, he's probably my favorite character. Yeah, because oh, yeah. he's, he's just stoned all the time. And he, he says, wants to smoke about stuff with people. You know what yeah. they're smoking? Is no, they're smoking tobacco. Fuck you. It's hash. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That is hash. Yeah, yeah. but he says. Um, what does he say? No, today's oh, a good day to die. Today's a good day to die. Yeah. Whatever he doesn't I die. I think I know blah, what you're blah, talking blah. about. Yeah. But then they're like, "Let's walk home." Uh, I got a new snake woman. She <laughs> makes the best boiled dog. Uh, the, only, <laughs> the worst, the only bad thing about snake woman is that they copulate with horses. This one's good though. Uh, she doesn't. She says she doesn't, but of course she's lying. Or whatever. <laughs> I, I, yeah. That's like I'm yeah. misquoting, but. And then he says, "I was by." For and example, then he says, "That's why I call her doesn't like horses." Yes, yeah, like <laughs> I horses. typed up the yeah. exact same part right here. <laughs> yeah. that, that's that, my favorite the part. Pun- I forgot the punchline. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, uh, that's an example of yeah. I was because I watched the first half with my girlfriend, and then like the last twenty minutes I watched yeah. y- yesterday. Yeah, uh, and I watched it by myself, and I I laughed. Fucking so hard out loud. Because, <laughs> man, I just didn't see it coming either. Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck? Out like, of what is the, nowhere. This is, like, like, this is yeah. the big wrap up, is this yeah, conversation. That big joke, and then just real fucking sad. Yeah. That, yeah. The well, ending it is cuts actually, back. Yeah, it cuts back to him as an old man with the interviewer. Yeah. Um, and he asks the interviewer to leave because he just can't take it. Yeah. He's like the last. That And that ending kind of is that juxtaposition of those two. Scenes is mm-hmm. kind of rap, like encapsulates the whole tone of the movie. Yeah, I think that's super something... dick joke, like sex joke, whatever. Yeah, cut to like really dramatic, just long yeah. shot of him sad. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think that is what struck me when I first saw this as a kid. I'd yeah. never seen anything that had that juxtaposition, mm-hmm. and it really it got to me. I think I thought something really primitive along the lines of like this is what life is really like. Yeah, you know, this yeah. is. Life it's is the, a, a big old mix of good and bad. Yeah, there isn't just a one tone to life. Yes. Yeah. You know, you're going to 
be um, hitting every, everything's gonna be hitting you in the face. For sure. Yeah. I mean, this was comedy heavy though. My, I, I went yeah. into this movie thinking it was like gonna be super dramatic. Yeah, that was, was gonna like, be Dances with Wolves. But I, but I, if you liked it so much, like I knew it wasn't gonna be that. Though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like dramatic movies, but they're not gonna. If come Andrew out my said favorite. this was his favorite movie, I'd be like, "Ooh, three hours of sleep." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> So in, oh, I, I did read an old review from Roger Ebert when this came out, and mm-hmm. he summed it up that uh, Jack Crabb, the main character, is not a hero but a survivor, or an example of a former race of people that, and the time is long gone. Like, he's he's the last. He's mm-hmm. a remnant of something mm-hmm. that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. yeah, I see. I think that's what's so sad about the It is yeah. sad. It is sad. Because in the beginning, you don't... You th- like, the way it was set up, you thought he was just going to be a part of General Custer's army looking at Indians. Yeah. But he got so tied up with it, like, intimately in different ways and right. at different times that it was, like, a part of his identity. He's kind of like the doctor, man. He's yeah. involved in a lot of things. Yeah. Doctor and Doctor who? Yeah. Yeah, who? the doctor. Who's the doctor you're talking about? The doctor. He's just called the doctor. Jesus Christ. Who's the doctor? That's what his He's name is. He's the fucking doctor. Doctor who is the name of the He's show. He's the time lord. God he's just called flies doctor. around in a TARDIS. Well, that's what I asked. I was like, Doctor Who? And you so, were like, ugh, no, his name's just the Doctor. His name's not Doctor Who, I'm just saying. I know that. I <laughs> so, know that, but I was, Jesus, since I haven't Jesus, seen the Drew fucking show, really what upset the about fuck this? is wrong with you? <laughs> I haven't seen the fucking God, show. How would it. I know his useless, that's know nothing fucking name? That's the problem. I can't no, even I, talk to somebody. It's sort of, it's like this one yeah. character that goes around, meets a lot of famous, it's revisionist notable history. Or, yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah. The Jerk. Yeah. You know. It's all the same kind yeah. of movie. It, Odyssey, kind of. It, that's yeah, an Odyssey, right? It isn't. What defines well, an Odyssey? Like I someone, think it's just. I, know, I think that probably it, it's the maybe the length of the story. It's and like also, a long journey. It's just a journey. journey is what a I, of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this of is strange like, yeah. happenings. Yeah. And, oh, 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 brother, where art thou? Have you guys seen yeah. Big, Big Fish? Eyes. Yeah, that was another movie that came to mind. You haven't? That's haven't really good. You'd like it. It definitely one of the best Tim Burton movies. Yeah, probably. He really like he had the nail on the head for mm-hmm. the first time in a long while. Then Billy hasn't Crudup. been able to do it in a while. Billy Crudup, yeah, Ian McGregor. Didn't he just yeah. die? Uh, no, he's the Mastercard Crud- voice guy. Billy Crudup still. Dr. No, Manhattan. I'm thinking of someone else. Yeah, uh, he's yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, he's not young, but he's Doctor Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Um, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, but Big Fish has a similar out. tone, mm-hmm. and they yes. even like the big <laughs> theme there is that truth isn't important. It's really like yeah, quality of story. I see that. Makes or breaks, uh, you know, mm-hmm. something. Oh, it does, yeah. obviously. Um, because the fiction or nonfiction can be just as mm-hmm. compelling. I just want to cover all my notes because I have a few things that I really like. I think I can I say one, yeah, my only note that I'm remembering right now. Um, <laughs> one of the most one of my favorite quotes from the movie was uh, when Jack Crab is wrestling with um. Oh dang it! What's the what's who's the Indian that saves him or not saves him? Uh, takes him in the very beginning. What was the name? Uh, it was like S something. Shadow. Shadow. Shadow that comes yeah. in light. Mm-hmm. Shadow, yeah. Which yeah. is a sweet name. It is sweet. <laughs> but uh, it really, like the movie just sort of, I knew it was going somewhere else when this happened. When like yeah. he's, when Shadow's trying to kill him, I'm like, how did this fucking happen? And then I realized, oh, this is his camp that he's going into to as, ta- a soldier, as a soldier. And, like, like- and then I started thinking, why is he doing this? So that He was looking for his wife, but... It was so backwards that his place in yeah. life was so confused. But uh, the quote was when the guy who was trying to kill Jack Crab, mm-hmm. he was the the you know captain or whatever with the sword. Yeah, forget his name. Shoots Shadow, and then uh, Dustin Hoffman sees him like float away in the river, and uh, his quote was something like uh, uh, that: "My enemy saved my life." By the mm-hmm. brutal murder of my best friend. And then he goes on to say, the world's too fucking crazy to live mm-hmm. in. Even mm-hmm. to stand to live in. I love that line so much. I know I didn't say it word for word. Um, that yeah, was like he didn't know how to feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was a good... Yeah. It was um, really good. Uh, I had a quote that was, uh, she wasn't called Digging Bear for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't exactly remember the context now, but... Well, he was tired... After sleeping with his first, oh like, right, first yeah, sister. right, yeah, 
So what what does that mean? Though? I think I think it was what was she that, digging? I think it was who was digging what? The idea was that she was doing most of the work or something, or yeah, it probably has something to do with the marketplace and like digging, digging down. Maybe. Yeah, digging down. <laughs> 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 or maybe he just really dug her. I I did. That's I, another I reason found that, that close. So sad is because this horrible massacre happens right after this. Yeah, and actually, really light when oh, Sunshine right. dies uh, uh, holding the baby, that's probably the saddest. That's the fucking worst mo- moment in the movie. Also, He's Dustin like, Hoffman's like actual get, like, physical shot action. In the face. I mean, I think the despite like right in, just in the face. Like he's getting what we gutted, said about. Like, um, Dustin Hoffman at the beginning of the movie, he uh-huh. does like this is an incredible performance. Oh yeah, like, he did a great job. Yeah, I mean, even even to be all over the place. Even better yeah. was when he was uh, uh, just after that, like mm-hmm. trying to go into the camp with the uh, cavalry hat on and yeah. act like a soldier. Him like sort of crying and like acting like a fool and like saying "Don't kill me," or uh, you see, I'm the ta- I'm the uh, mule skinner or whatever. Yeah. Like I don't know why, but that struck me as like. The best acting in this whole movie. Yeah, because there's it, there's so many layers to yeah. it. There's so many what layers to like his uh, character's uh, motivations. Right. Yeah, now. yeah, that's really incredible. Um, that line that you couldn't get yeah. if we want to throw it in now. Yeah. Um, there's no describing how I felt. An enemy had saved my life from the violent murder of one of my best friends. The world was too ridiculous to even bother to live in. Yeah, that was that struck me the first I feel, time I heard I that. I feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot. The world's too ridiculous to even bother to live in. It's a hell of a line, especially in this movie. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. There's so, there's super heavy stuff. And yeah, super comedic stuff. Yeah. There's another yeah. early on when he's with the uh, the charlatan uh, Allardyce yeah. Merriweather, which I love that name. Yeah, but it's clearly like made up. The guy with like a patch and a hook and oh yeah, reminded yeah, yeah, yeah. me like, literal. Snake oil. Yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, there's literal snake heads. Literal snake oil. Yeah, I guess yeah. I I've known the, that you know snake oil salesman, but I didn't know that they actually made snake oil. I, that could have been an exact. <laughs> Maybe, but still, I, I hope that there's actual for? some truth. It was just fake shit that people sold. It was like uh 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 um medicine. They what they What's called them in patent placebos. medicines. Mm-hmm. They uh they were called that because they literally did not have a patent. Yeah. Because they didn't they never had to divulge what the ingredients were. Uh-huh. And so these people could go around, sell them, claim they did whatever, but they usually had some sort of booze in them and they tasted funny. Yeah. So people would drink them and think that they were doing something good. How the hell could you It's like you the have stuff that Bugs heads. Bunny put on top of Elmer Fudd's head when he's massaging it, when he gives him a shave and then the yeah. grass grows out of it. <laughs> well, uh, what was it? Well, with, at, when he's with Meriwether at one of the lowest points of his life, yeah. Jack says, um, or maybe we're all fools and none of this matters. <laughs> it's like, I just... Uh, Almost comically dark. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is true. But he's still a teenager at that point, you know. We all felt like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I yeah, was a nihilist true. when true. I was a teenager. <laughs> or I thought I was. I, kind I of, had Chuck Taylors that had anarchy symbols on them. So. I kind of was. Black, every, black but but every, but by that by that standard, everyone was. When oh, they yeah. In, in I, was a, I was a mall punk. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> a mall punk. <laughs> I never went to the mall actually, like not to hang out because where I yeah. lived it was. Oh, just I mean, too like fucking I got, away. I didn't like get my band shirts from like the show. I would get them from Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah. Hot Topic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, also the show, but yeah, I was a piece of shit. It was no getting band, <laughs> <laughs> getting band shirts from a store is still okay. You don't. Have I know, to buy but them just I mean, the... I was a poser. You, yeah, I was a poser. A poser. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I remember throwing that word around a lot in high school. But oh, oh, yeah. Sir. That used Whoa. to be the It's funny actually. because it, the people that say it the most are probably the... Oh, for yeah. sure. Being, accused of, a po- being well, accused of being a poser is like being accused of being a communist. It's like you just sort of... It's like, oh, you're a poser. You well, really any group of people like, just like ah. growing up skating, like a yeah. poser means one whole other thing to me. Like, you know. No, I get it. But like, that's what I'm saying. But each, any, you could be... Any group could call someone else a poser, and they're not even trying to be the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just happen to dress away, and then they don't per- do the thing that is connected to the way that they look. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like you wear a cowboy hat, and you Oh, you don't nowhere. fucking even own a horse, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah. why, yeah, so why I would I mad at people that wear skate shoes? I would love to they see don't some skate. Yeah. Country like a dickhead. horse riding dude. 
like call a uh, fucking uh, Keith Urban fucking poser, poser, or even better, like a, so a guy like a full on cowboy points a little kid that like is pushing Mongo <laughs> on a yeah. skateboard and calls him a poser <laughs> for something because he actually skates, but yeah. he's also riding a horse. I will. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> oh, my last note is just corn woman. Corn woman. Yeah. Why do they? Why do they call these things? <laughs> Corn woman. Corn they just woman. don't give a shit about women that much. They're just like, uh, corn woman. No, so they have the nice men, names. The men have Sunshine. Sunshine. Sunshine was a great name. Yeah. yeah, because she's beautiful. All the ugly ones are called, like, corn oh, yeah. woman and snake woman. <laughs> I read a review. Like, bear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I read a review that this uh, movie was supposed to be, like, uh, uh, what was it? Um, a bullet pin of the time period where, I guess, like, during the 70s. Oh, yeah. It definitely. was... You know, identity crisis in terms of America. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know why, but the term, the name Sunshine just reminded me of like the, a hippie name. The, it was yeah. a very hippie name, and what they had going on in the camp. So you're very, saying that this? They were saying it was like this is like a a metaphor for a little time. bit. Yeah. Well, bit. It, it definitely struck a chord with hippie culture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I don't because, because, of, because of the and because of all the weeds. There's Indians. definitely. I mean, there's no. It's, it's not very directly clear connected. which side the audience is supposed to take. Yes. Sure. You know, there's, they're not like painting a picture that there's not a you, maybe you're supposed to side with the whites here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, yeah. Yeah, I guess like, yeah. I know a couple people. That Early made. 70, yeah. I mean, yeah. That yeah. shit was I just, hot. I just thought shit that was a it hot was, button issue. Yeah. I just thought it was a noteworthy sort of. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's very, mm-hmm. it tells a lot about. Because every movie, at some, at, to some Story degree, is a, is a display of the time period it was released in. No matter how historical a movie tries to be. Right. It's unavoidable. It's, there's still a lens of... Uh, now. Yeah, I guess. You can't... I mean, it, it's going to be on everything. It's like, mm-hmm. you know... Like dust. the values of the time are change each, you know, decade, basically. Sure, exactly. Like, some people value, like... I, old Westerns... You know, back in the day, they might, I'm sure a lot of people thought they were historical westerns. Obviously, just right. because just the, because that's what they were seeing like in spaghetti that's westerns. westerns. Exactly, like, they were like, "Oh, that's how the Wild West really windows. was." Yeah, and uh, there's probably like you know modern ones where you see a movie like The Revenant. And someone like me is like, "Oh, that's probably exactly how it was." But I'm sure that's not wholly true anyway. It's, yeah, like, I feel like the every, further we get away from it, the more yeah, dramatic yeah. it becomes, and the more to committed to myth. Or like yeah. mentioned, it might become. I would say, in the, that's the Revenant is also just like a, it's like a folk tale. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, just like this movie, I think is a folk yeah, tale. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Yeah. Well, yeah. just like Jesus. Just like Jesus. <laughs> you're you're dead on it. Yeah. Oh, well, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> well, no, don't you know he is risen? Oh fuck you. <laughs> Is it about you, that time? It's about that time. You, I stole your line. You're supposed to be the Time for the quiz. quiz. So last week we had a bit of a debate during the break here. I uh, I uh, lowballed, softballed the uh, quiz last Michael week. Michael held up a sign to Drew and turned it away so from me. You guys both and had the same true. Absolutely quiz. Absolutely not true. <laughs> you, had the, you were both given the same clues. Uh, Drew got it eventually. Yeah. Yep. True. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, so all I know is that the, my pick would have been great for well, an upcoming event. It was in correlation with it, uh, but we'll have to save it. No, no, <laughs> we'll have to. We'll have to save it. You picked half baked, didn't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I picked. It's absolutely not. No, not <laughs> all right, so okay, so can we my before pick. before anyone wins? Can we say that I have the next pick because it really no, is going to be good. No, you gotta get a quiz right. <sighs> All right, fine. God. Fine, go. <laughs> We're gonna. It's gonna be a missed opportunity. Okay. You're so, well, there's a this lot of missed opportunities in life. Movie. Yes. Is an animated movie. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna say what year it is. Okay. Right. Um. This movie. Triplets Spirit. of Belleville. Spirited Away. No. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm using IMDb and I'm going to the trivia. You didn't have a fucking... Oh. No, I had this movie. I just didn't want to write it out. Mm. Um, you never... I don't think you've ever written out a quiz. Yes, I do. They're in my notebook, fool. All right. Um, um, this is great for the listeners. <laughs> fine. It's a 2013 <laughs> animated movie. Okay. Uh, 
Is this a Miyazaki film? No, it is not. No. I don't Nos. think you're allowed to ask questions. Well, like I answered that. it, so now well, you know. yeah. <laughs> it is rated PG. Okay. PG. <laughs> All right. You're not giving us a lot here. Um, uh, <laughs> 2013. I'm not, yeah. I'm, I don't know, really know what to go off of, and I'm just going to start guessing 2013. Waltz with Bashir. Hey, you want to no. make that. You want to ask the obscurity level? Yeah. You ask it. What's the obscurity? Zero. <laughs> zero. So no one, no one knows at it's all. No, on the obscurity level, it rates a zero. Is it Toy Story 3? It is not Toy Story 3. No, that came out in like 2010, I think. Okay. Dang it. Um, My phone's about to die. It is a Disney. Oh, God damn it. What came out in 2013? It's Frozen. <laughs> Frozen? <laughs> I've never seen Frozen. And... Uh, you picked Frozen? I picked Frozen. What's the most marketable movie? I'm trying to get us listeners, guys. <laughs> I've seen and that. I've also never seen it, and I want to. Uh, I've seen it. I liked it. It's not bad. A spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's not. it's also not good. I thought it'd be just a fun romp for us to... Andrew we haven't had just a fun movie in a well, while. Well, I'll be back next week with another quiz. Yep. Michael earns them. I'm going to write it and then tally, too. Uh, I actually think oh, you got the you've got five and six now. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Five six. So Andrew still got zero, and I've got nine. nine. You keep tally too. Good. No, I just remember. Okay. Cool. I don't write it now. Uh, Andrew, you just got to be better. You know. That's all. Can I my, pick the next one? Advice. It's going to be good. I don't know, Andrew. I think you guys uh, should trade. You have to trade something. Trade what? Money? Just concepts. I don't know. I You can pick the next movie if you will go back and watch the comedy. Ooh! <laughs> and we can record a short, like a 10-minute short yeah. of just Andrew's What, are you going to watch me watch comedy. the comedy? No, you have to talk about it. You're going to have to come back and explain what happens in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, well, ask you, we'll just do a quick asking you. No one wants to hear that. Oh, we no, do. I mean, I don't even care if we put it online, but we're going to record it. <laughs> All right. All right, so you watch the comedy, and you can pick the next movie. Yay. Well, obviously I have to watch Frozen. Yeah. But that's a light. Light. Yeah. Just wanted a light movie, too, because I feel like my life has been kind of stressful as of late, and I want something easy to digest. It also might make you angry. This is actually the first musical that we'll have reviewed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, God, this is the first musical? That's kind of weird. I could have picked another one. I could have picked a better one. This is also the most fucking... This is the biggest corn ball corn fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, Jesus. I am not ashamed. I I do yeah. love Disney movies. No, I'm glad yeah. you picked something so far out of your your yeah uh, repertoire. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll confess, it was my girlfriend's uh, uh, idea because mm-hmm. I couldn't. But even one Becca's out. not like the fr- you know she's not a. Frozen she was girl. like, you should pick Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something because it was 420 today, whatever. Yeah, so I was off. trying to think of something funny. Yeah. So all right, yeah, something off. Something you know, just something goofy, just silly. <laughs> something, <laughs> something, something goofy, and something silly. so wacky, just wackaroo. Uh huh. All right, guys. Yeah, I gotta go to a haircut. So oh yeah, hurry up, haircut. Yeah, for I me. gotta roll up these. All right, blows. that's not a joke. That's not a joke. It's the hair club for movies. Hair club for movies. Getting a haircut is we like. We watch the movies while Andrew is like going to church. Is it? Yeah, it's sacred. Every hair is sacred. I'm Every just going to walk out right now while it's recording. Good. Yeah, you got to go. I got to go. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. Do you work tonight? Where are my keys? There they are. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, we didn't okay. talk about your snacks. Oh, yeah. Andrew brought two cheese sticks and a Minute Maid pink lemonade today. What would you rate them? i rate them an Andrew. Nice. <laughs> he ate all of it. Two he cheese did. sticks. Two cheese sticks. His breath is going to be terrible for that haircut. I hope it's a dude. <laughs> he said he's going to a salon. Oh, well, men don't cut hair at salons. Oh. Only barbershops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's like a different, well, the difference how you between name it. Yeah. a butler and a maid. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, who's, who's really wearing the skirts around? <laughs> the Scots.